On Monday, February 11th, a special town meeting was held with the main purpose being if the town shall approve a tax increment financing agreement with Lycan Bioscience, LLC. Uh, Lycan Bioscience is an emergency uh, biotech company focused on the manufacture of cell and gene therapy specifically. Uh, the company plans to lead the way in manufacturing clinical products. Uh, just a little background there, most of the products, there's only less than a handful of cell therapies approved right now in the world. This is personalized medicine. Uh, it's gained a lot of traction in the last couple of years. Um, and in the last couple of months, if you pay attention, you've seen some mighty big deals. Uh, Bristol Myers Squibb paid $74 billion for a company named Celgene. Uh, there's been buyouts of Juno and Kite. So there's been over $100 billion spent in this industry in the last six months. So this is the next generation of therapy, uh, and we're excited to be uh, so early in the process. The bioscience firm is hoping to lease property at 97 South Street to construct a 63,600 square foot facility intended for clinical manufacturing. Lycan has identified a manufacturing site in Hopkinton, Mass, which is on 90, at 97 South Street. Uh, we've con we conducted a very detailed search nationwide uh, over the last two years. And uh, the Hopkinton site is at the forefront now and is our number one uh, choice to locate here. We're currently in Arizona. The project investment by Lycan Bioscience is estimated at $12 million, including $10 million for renovation costs and $2 million for personal property. Uh, and 10 million in construction costs and 2 million in personal property. So a very hefty investment for us. And that's why we're here for the TIF agreement. It's uh, most of our, you know, our struggle will be in the beginning years. It shouldn't be an issue, you know, after year five, we should be very well established in manufacturing uh, routinely. Some of the economic benefits to the town promised by Lycan Bioscience includes 125 new full-time permanent jobs. Lycan's going to create at least 125 permanent full-time jobs over a five-year period. Um, blend of talents and skills, including engineering, lab techs, manufacturing, assembly, quality control, quality assurance, sales, office administration, uh, the typical gamut that you would see. Uh, and what's not shown here is uh, those, a lot of those jobs will not require a formal college degree. Throughout the 10-year agreement, the town would net over $225,000 in town revenue and over $1.4 million in taxes. The product failure to Lycan doesn't mean anything because the next product's behind it. The failure may have, will uh, certainly affect the sponsor company. But, you know, failure of a drug to Lycan doesn't have the kind of impact it typically would on a drug company because we don't own our own drugs. We just manufacture and get paid. And as long as those products keep going through the regulatory cycles, and there's over a thousand in the line right now, which means that a thousand of those products have to go through phase one, phase two, and hopefully phase three testing if they're that lucky to make it, uh, plus the ones that come up behind it. So there's... 3,000 opportunities for Lycan to manufacture right now, today, without anything else being developed, and very little capacity in the country to produce them, and very little know-how. So Lycan can be here forever. The article received very little disagreement, and most residents supported the TIF agreement with Lycan Biosciences. Um, I'm rising in support of this TIF because the building has been unoccupied for two to three years and it does deteriorate and this will allow for renovation, it will allow for jobs, it will allow for a lot of things. We have had TIFs in this town before. Some have been successful and some of them have been rescinded because they have not been able to live up to the requirements of the TIF. So therefore with good oversight uh, I have no problem. I think it's a step forward for all of us. The article was approved by the majority. Everyone in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? It's a simple majority. We declare that this 
article passes. The company is hoping to be up and running at some point next year.